All right, some quick breaking news before we get completely into this review. And I'm sorry to abruptly butt into it. But what we have to talk about is real quick. Uh, we've had a winner on the contest for the latest uh, uh, giveaway or puzzle. And that winner was Daniel Green. Uh, Daniel Green used all of the clues that were in this in the tripwire video and in a couple of my other videos that I made kind of obvious. Uh, so that's why it pays a little bit to watch some of my other videos because I, I sometimes leave some uh, clues in there as well. So uh, Daniel solved it. I'll be making, I know these, you know, who won videos don't make, don't get too many views. But if you're interested in knowing how I put together these puzzles and some insight into it, uh, go ahead and uh, check them out. Uh, you know, you never know. Uh, you might, you know, when I put on the next contest, you might be the one that wins it. <clears throat> you might be the one that wins it as well. Got, got something stuck in my throat there for a minute. So uh, I really appreciate you guys playing and participating and, 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 and engaging with those puzzles. Uh, let me know if they're fun. Uh, also, he actually, like I said, used all the clues to guess it. And the answer to that puzzle, Alien Storm. That was the arcade I was looking for. And Daniel found it. All right, guys, back to the video. All right, toy collectors and connoisseurs. Today on the channel, we're going to take a look at the Trouble Bubble, the Televiper and Trouble Bubble from the from the uh, GI Joe Classified series. Now, uh, I've, man, I've been really looking forward to this bad boy, and that's because Trouble Bubbles were one of the most fascinating little ships that I, I had to Trouble Bubble as a kid. And they were just, just very cool little ships that, you know, weren't in it, weren't very expensive as far as vehicles were concerned and were just fun, you know. Uh, behind the Cobra Claw, I think this was one of my favorite smaller vehicles. Um, and just just a very cool, um, uh, you know, I don't know. It was just very cool to me to have. So take a, this is what box it comes in. It's popping up out of the jungle there, just like when you smack around a... a, a, a a wasp's nest. Look at them. They're just, they're upset and they're all coming after you. So uh, trouble bubbles look best in threes or more. <laughs> Little wasp nests coming after you. So here's what the box looks like. They're popping up out of the jungle, following that same motif. I guess they're going after that, uh, you know, that, you know, the cave, the tunnel, the Mayan temples, you know, they're somewhere out there. Here's what he comes with. Got a couple of missiles, a couple of accessories here that come with the uh, Trouble Bubble. Televiper. Uh, let's see if I can fit this in there. That's what it's got on the side, number 79. On the back, you've got some more accessories there. Very good, very good. And then again, another close up of the concept art for the Televiper. Uh, I'll not be keeping this box because it was actually quite beat up when I got it. So it's out of here. All right, let's take a look at, Wish we start with the figure or the trouble bubble? Let's start out with the Televiper. So the Televiper, let me get a little closer here because I had to start a little bit further back uh, due to the size of that box. Anyways, looking closely at the Televiper, I mean, th this is... You know, just looking at the sculpting, I don't know if it's new or not. Again, I'm just looking at this sculpting. Maybe he's got a neoprene sleeve there. I, I don't know. Maybe he's got tattoos and you don't want to show them off. I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, he's got a neo, you know, very well sculpted, really cool uh, backpack. Very, it harkens way back to the, um, the, the, the Televiper of old. Uh, I don't know if this is a new sculpt or not, but it looks very nicely done. Texture, pockets. I think these boots are new. Um, just a very nicely sculpted, especially the head, right? Look at that head. Just completely reminds me of the, uh, of the Televiper of old. Just really cool, really well done. Uh, definitely, definitely really like this figure just the fact that they've stayed very true and very close basically updated the televipers so absolutely love the way they sculpted this and the way it looks so yeah all right you know what let's take a look at the figure itself and see now because 
uh, what I'm noticing is that they've got several sculpts and some of these sculpts look better than others uh, or, or work better than others. Now, when I first popped this figure out, it had some problems and, and here are the problems that it had. Now, and again, I only, I judge the figure by the figure that I have in hand. I, I don't care if it's a one-off. Uh, this is the figure I got, and this is the figure that's going to get the review. It's random chance, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, number one, his head. That's how it articulates. Let's go look up that much. Pretty good. Look up down that much. He's got a pretty good range there. Pretty good range. You can pull it back more. It's not bad. It's all right. Uh, you can do a little bit side to side, not not a whole bunch so there's that um he can look down a little so yeah there you go i do like it it'll do the job uh let's see he can do a t-pose rather easily now he can do it rather easily now but he couldn't earlier uh because these were pretty much just locked up i had to literally and you can still see some of it i tried to clean up as much but i had to put some oil in there for for me to be able to articulate that because it was not this easy initially. It was a mess. Um, I used some of that Trax oil, or what do they call it? It's Trax oil, but it's like a shock oil. Uh, and it works really well. I think it mostly been used with race cars and plastics, but it works really great for action figures as well. So anyways, cut. Oh, he's got a little bit of a, a butterfly joint right there, which is really great. But he articulates really well now there with, with uh, some oil. Bicep cut, double jointed, pinless. Uh, elbows, uh, and he has a in and out hand right there. So uh, does he have an in and out on this one or up and down? In and out. He's got an in and out on that one as well. Uh, the vest kind of gets, gets in the way of the crunch, but oh, oof, it's turning. I can feel it giving. So that's fine. Uh, that's the first time I actually turned him. So I can feel it moving. That's fine. He's got some. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's see, can he, can he crunch because of the vest? He's probably going to be hindered or hindered. He can go back quite a bit, but he really can't, well, he can articulate there. He, he can go forward. I mean, as you know, most of the GI Joes have that cut inside of there that they can go forward. So very, you know, that's good. That's good. Uh, no points off for that. I dig it very well done there. Uh, and again, he does have a, a waist cut. Uh, articulation crunch ability there drop down hips as we all know cut at the thigh double jointed oh and these knees were extra extra tight and again i had to add some oil on those uh double jointed pinless knees which is fine now after i added the oil they're fine um and you know heat it up add some tracks oil to it it'll be fine he does have a boot cut down there at the bottom limited articulation at the it's really hard these feet whew. so that's how far it goes up that's how far they go down and he does have twist at the ankle all right just real quick let's see let's see how he stands up against uh or measures up against a few regular other joes just to get a size comparison uh let's see how he stands up against daredevil let's see what he does here that to the side he's about the same size as daredevil marvel legend not bad and of course uh more than likely mr destro is going to eclipse him in size no no not really but same size as destro what else do we have to compare him with of course we have our old friend black series stormtrooper always the little guy <laughs> whoa almost dropped him but uh there he is with the black series stormtrooper definitely uh much taller than that let's put him back there hopefully it doesn't fall again this eel boy bit the dust over here let's pick him up stand up mr eel are you gonna maybe all right all right, so let's take a look at the accessories real quick that he comes with. Stand up straight, stand up straight, don't faint. Uh, he does come with this very cool heads up display, uh, probably um, 
you know, to help him out when he's in with the, when he's in there with the uh, trouble bubble. So I, I really dig this um, uh, heads up. I wonder if it looked cool also on um, scrap iron, but scrap iron's already got one kind of like this. So there you go. Very nice sculpt. Very cool. And then he also has got uh, a different head here. Uh, so, you know, you can have two ethnicities uh, with this um, particular televiper, which is fantastic. I've always been a fan of, you know, number one, they give you some variety in the, um, uh, you know, that way they don't all look the same, right? You got some, you got the ability to make them look, you know, from different, uh, you know, just, just so that they all don't look the same break it up a little bit so it looks like a true little army as opposed to just one clone dude so there you go there you have it um taking a look at his backpack which really does harken back to the old one uh i really like it you know this little piece pops off here plugs into there and this little piece pops off here and plugs into here now if i remember correctly televiper was a cryptographic and like communications uh guy for cobra uh, which is really cool. So, um, you know, really digging that uh, uh, motif. They got to have a communications guy. They got to have a satellite uplink and communications. All right, let's take a look at the Trouble Bubble. Let's take a look at that guy. I absolutely loved uh, this. Putting this together, number one, was very simple. Very simple. I did heat up this weapon because when I tried to push it in, it was actually really tight. Now it's just fine. It's not a problem. I didn't even add any oil to it because I don't think I'm going to be moving this gun around that much. And I'm going to be playing around too much with it. I'm fine with it. Just pointing forward. Uh, it, it wasn't really a big deal. I just put it, you know, this, uh, uh, pegged right on, uh, these missiles. I, actually, these did keep coming off these little wings here that, that winglets that hold the missiles. So I ended up just putting some sticky tack into the hole and on the outside of it, and it's holding it beautifully. You know, the missiles can pop off. Uh, missiles go back on uh, relatively easily. Yep. So yeah, you know, very, very easily put together. Um, lots of detail there. Sorry about that. You know, lots of detail in there. I bet a wash would make it look amazing. So he's got a screen back there and in here, lots of color. Um, yeah. Oh, and he's got here. Let's get real close in here. Sorry about that, guys. He's got like a little readout here. If I can. Anyways, let me see if I can get close in on that. Let's see. Can you guys see that there? It's got like a little readout there. So anyways, uh, really digging that. Um, so I really dig this trouble bubble. I think it's one of my favorite favorite vehicles how many vehicles have we had now let's see we've had the ram cycle uh we've had the baroness's uh coil uh we've had uh what else have we had serpenter's chariot and now the trouble bubble and then we've had that other tiger force uh wackadoo looking breaker cycle or ram cycle i'm really looking forward to the new um a vamp that's coming out as well so uh really much re really looking forward to that hoping it costs way less than i'm thinking it should go for 70 bucks but no one has bro it's probably going to go for something like you know about 100 which i think is unfortunate because i don't think it really costs that much to make but regardless i'm probably going to pick up a couple of those anyways uh love the trouble bubble just fantastic one last accessory I remember this guy being a little bigger, but anyways, you've got an aerial mine. I guess, um, I, I guess it used to just sit in the chair if I remember correctly. And they, the, the bubble, the trouble bubble itself would turn into a mine. I don't think they would deploy these. I think they would, this was a mine on the trouble bubble and they would send those out to get blown up or something. And this does come off. I'm not going to take it off because it's a little bit of a pain to put it back on. You know what I appreciate too? And I'm sorry if some of you guys don't like it. But I really appreciate them putting the stickers stickers on here for us already. <laughs> because I didn't want to fuss with that. So I really appreciate them doing all the paint applications and putting all this on here already. Fantastic. Love that they did that for us. Um, wonderful. Wonderful. 
So, um, yeah, uh, I, I dig this. So what do I give this two pack here? What do I give this two pack? Um, seeing as how I've been, I, you know, this is, this trouble bubble is one of the most iconic. And I know these have been really, you know, kind of, uh, overly super happy, uh, reviews sometimes, but I am really excited about what they of what ha about what Hasbro has given us lately. Uh, with all these releases, especially the Trouble Bubble. It's so iconic. Televiper is so iconic. Uh, the eels are so iconic. You know, I've been super excited. I'm, I really haven't had too much bad luck with them, except for the only one that I've had really bad luck was with Shipwreck. He was a, sh he was a wreck. <laughs> if you guys saw that review, you guys saw that he, he, he was just a mess. The figure that I got was, I had to literally go and from the moment I opened it, I had to go and repair him from some other spare parts that I had. But other than that, I have nothing, I've had nothing but good luck so far. So, uh, and again, I'm, I'm really digging this. So ultimately, what do I rate these guys? Um, uh, par for the course with the adding of the little bit of oil, because I've had to do that with a bunch of figures already. So I, I'm really not going to take any points off for that. Uh, and it wasn't that bad. Uh, and it loosened up immediately uh, after I added the oil. I didn't have any problems putting together this trouble bubble uh, whatsoever. Uh, with the amount of accessories, the amount of coolness and nostalgia it brings back to me. To me, guys, I didn't have any problems with it. I I'm going to give it a five. If you don't have this iconic piece of nostalgia from the G.I. Joe line, and you're a fan, you got to go out and get it. Um, at least get one. But I, being being who I am and being as nostalgic as I am, I got three of them. Uh, because to me, I would always see them pop up on screen on three or, three or more. And they just look cool, right? So um, am, am, I, am I giving it too high a grade? Probably. But this is my bread and butter. And they Hasbro did not disappoint me with this release. So fantastic job. So, uh, in closing, guys, thank you for your support. Thank you for uh, uh, subscribing. Thank you for liking if you're so inclined. Uh, and as always, guys, um, uh, let's continue to grow the channel. Let's continue to, uh, 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 you know, engage. And I'll continue to put together some fun contests and prizes so that they're never lame together. So, so that we can, we, we can enjoy this hobby together, right? Uh, so anyways... Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And as always, as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep rolling it out.